He's bleeding! Somebody help him! Did you find a wound? It's his upper leg. Like. You shot your own son! I know, and it felt really good. Okay, I think everyone should listen to the guy with the gun. Wait, that's me. Lisa, be a deer and turn off your cell phone. Now, everyone, take out your cell phones, throw them in the aisle. I catch anyone with a cell phone, the next call you make will be from the mortuary. Where's your weapon? You must have taken it. Call for backup and medics immediately at the church. Who could that All right. be? All right. <laughs> you listen to me, Dante. Sorry, Mick has left the building. And if you want me, Margo, I would appreciate you showing me some of the respect that I've earned over the years. Fine, James. You unlock the door now and I won't add attempted escape and assaulting an officer to the list of charges. What a generous offer. Look, this place is going to be surrounded in five minutes. This is your last chance to leave on your own terms. Okay, let's stop pretending that I'm not the one with the hostages, shall we? No, no, don't go there. This is where I'm going. I see one cop or one police car outside these windows. I kill a hostage. You do not want it to go down like that. You make a move to come in here, I kill two hostages. You won't do that. Do you want a demonstration right now? No. Because I am in a room full of hypocrites who act like I am the only criminal that Oakdale has ever seen. And I will happily kill any one of them. Let the women go. No. I'm fine, and I'm not going anywhere without you. Well. We are all full of the heavenly spirit, aren't we? This isn't a joke. You have nothing to do with this. You don't need them. Don't tell me what I need. Please just let everybody else go, please. No one is leaving, do you hear me? Not unless I put a bullet in them myself. Oh my Dad? Bob? No! He's having a stroke. Oh my god. Dad? Dad! You need to hang on! I said nobody move. He's my father. You act like I don't know you, Tom. I'm hurt. You need to let him get out of here. You need to tell someone who cares. You have plenty of hostages without him. Let me get him some help. Mick, please. Bob never did anything to hurt you. He didn't accept me. You know what that's like, don't you? Dr. Oliver is right. You don't need everyone. Might have a point. You, 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 you. Out in the foyer. I'm not leaving. Yes, you are. No! Bob needs to know what's going on in here. You can help her from the outside. What about my husband? Yeah, take him too. And Paul? Are you kidding? He's the guest of honor. Dr. Hughes needs a doctor to go with him. Then go. Getting on my last nerve anyway. No, not me. Let Dr. Stewart go. No, oh, somebody's got to look after Paul. I can do that. No, no. You yes. should go too. No. She stays. Don't need you, though. I'm not going anywhere without her. Why am I not surprised? Quite a loyal one, isn't he? I don't want to leave you with that monster. Yes, I will take care of her. Just go. There's nothing more that you can do here, OK? Just help Dr. Oliver with Bob. Excuse me, uh, whoever you are, I insist that you let Katie go. She, she has a child who just lost his father. Well, this town always was full of sob stories. I'm taking her. Yeah, go. Barbara. No, mother stays. You too, Junior. Because I'm such a nice guy, I am letting go everyone who doesn't particularly interest me. I'd like your permission to bring a few cops up here to help with the release. Don't push it. Might want to call an ambulance, so. There's one on the way. Hey, who's hurt? Find out soon enough. Out this way, out this way. Hurry, everyone. Everyone, out this way. Where's everyone else? That may be out of the way. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Careful, careful. Let's go. Let's go. 
Are you sure everything is all right? A fit is a fiddle. Oh, please get my daughters out of there. Oh, we will, we will. <laughs> Reverend, Reverend, could you please make sure that Lisa gets back into town? Oh, of course. We can say a prayer if you'd like. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but right now I could use a stiff drink. Amen to that. Listen, <laughs> Kate, she'll be all right, I know. Thank you. Thanks, Mel. How's Casey? Uh, Dante seems to be focused on Paul right now. He, he, he only fired one shot, got Paul in the leg. He, he, he's okay, but he's losing a lot of blood. Then Dante confiscated all the cell phones. He's still behaving as if he's James. Well, he's hurting everybody into the chapel. He tried to let Casey go, but he wouldn't leave. I'm surprised you didn't stay with him. What? Well, he told me if not, he wouldn't help you. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to get him all outside. Hey. I know you will, baby. Hello, Margo. Why don't you send Paul out? Because I've used up all my good deeds for the day. But he's been shot. I know he's been shot. I'm the one who shot him. I need you to back off. No more cops, no more medics, no more trying to talk me down with your tricks from Hostages 101. Just tell me what the hell you're trying to do. I'm trying to spend some quality time in the loving bosom of my family. This is not a request, this is the perp's demand. But nothing that even smells like a cop car gets through that perimeter, do you understand me? Look, this guy has already assaulted an officer and shot one of the hostages, so I am not taking any chances here. What? What do you mean SWAT's on their way? Who's heading that team? You tell him, no sirens, and he better pray that nobody in that church spots him or I'll shoot him myself. What are you doing here? I, I, what are you doing? I told you to go home. I want to get my cell phone out. No, no, I don't want you here. Well, I'm not letting you do this alone. Look, it's bad enough that Casey is in there. I don't want you here. I want you out of the way. I want you out of danger. Well, that's what I want. So do your job, get our boy and Allison out of there safely, and we'll all go home together. <laughs>